the next thing I want to talk to you about is really your decision to leave your very successful job in sales, mm. in software sales, to pursue a passion. Mm. And uh, you were in, how old were you when you decided to do that? Well, it's, it's last year. It's less so than 12 late months. late 40s. Absolutely. Yeah. 49. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Well, almost on the cusp of my birthday, we were, we were on our honeymoon and, and I, we went to Europe for a month and I soaked up a month of European art and I came home and I just thought, I can't fake it anymore. I can't pretend that I'll be happy if I die and I don't give this a go. Yeah. 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 So, so you've long held a passion. Absolutely. Yeah, for that. Yeah. And it's just, look, you've, well, honestly, yeah. being in a marriage that was mm. was sucking all of your emotional oh. energy out of you, there oh, probably without. wasn't a lot left to go, oh, I'm going to pursue my passion here. Without question. Yeah. yeah. Without but question. But now a new chapter yeah. of your life, yes. a new marriage with a wonderful new man. Yes. And yes. a time to really honour mm. that that calling, that Absolutely. passion. Absolutely. And he's not arty at all, but he, he's into me. Yeah, I, I, yeah, <laughs> he doesn't, doesn't need, have to be into what you're into. He doesn't need to be, he just has to be into you. His faith in me yeah. is enough for me to do anything. I can, yeah. you know, my dad, who's now passed away, but dad used to sit me on his knee and tell me that I could do anything. And, yeah. and I often joke and say, um, if it's not true, please don't tap me on the shoulder because I won't believe you because <laughs> yeah. dad told me. Yeah. So, and that's how I feel again. I feel very young again and, and my new start in life is just incredible but yeah it's it's been up and down so but it's yeah, great it's, it's not easy i mean there's a no. lot of people who find themselves in jobs on career paths yeah. that that they're not passionate about excellent yeah and sometimes by just economic necessity we have to oh. stick with a job because it provides the income we need to yeah. raise our kids. And but it also bills. defines us, Margie. I found that yeah. I had long defined myself by, oh, yeah. I'm earning this much now. And of course, my yeah. ex-husband was very into money or I, I thought that he thought it was great when I was earning. He was actually quite threatened by it, but which I found out later. But yeah, I was always defining myself by that. And I was yeah. being such a fake for so long yeah. and I couldn't do it any longer. And I thought I have to do this. I have yeah. to leave it behind. And so once again, I mean, in your career, you felt you were sort of selling out to a passion, you know, yeah, taking absolutely. this road because it's yeah. the path of least resistance and your yes. identity was wrapped up in your big yes. dollar career absolutely and the celery and all the things yes. that buys you because, yeah. you know, yeah. nice handbags are nice and oh, I have to think twice about they're it. They're great. Yeah. Um, so. You know, there's a lot, I just, as far as that decision to go, you know what, I'm going to go and give this a go mm, as an mm, artist, mm, which is mm. out there, you know? It's very out there. I think what I used to do was with my, my husband now, I used to say to him, darling, I'm, a, uh, I'm an emerging artist and sort of play with that and bounce. And I, I do that in my life. I play, with, I try things on yeah. and think, does it feel, I, I feel it's authentic, but can others, how do they yeah. bounce it yep. off them? And he... He one day just said, listen, I'm tired of you saying emerging. How about you get real with yeah, it? And I'm yeah. oh, really? What? Good no. on him. You're I not know, an emerging he's an, artist. You're exactly, an artist. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah, he plonked some money in a bank account and some real money and said, and we're not wealthy, but he said, this money is, it's dead to me. I don't want to see it again. That's the best materials you can buy because, you know, your, your thing is quality the best canvas, the best paint, yep. and just get into this and dig into it and go crazy and it'll work. And it has. <laughs> well, kudos to you. And oh, I think it just goes you. to show that when we really listen to that siren call of oh. our soul, of oh. our what is it that lights us up. So true. That the universe conspires. Oh, you know, there's the no people question. people that you need to meet. Oh, the feelings I get now, it's all yeah. here. I mean, I, I now, I, I've been faking it for so long because I'm a very intuitive person. And now that I've opened that up and I actually openly say I'm an artist and I behave like one, yeah. I talk like one now, I, I'm not hiding all of my um, emotional vocabulary and things. I'm, I'm being myself for the first time ever. And it's just too much fun. Yeah. It really is. It's, it's incredible. Well, I think just that like being ourselves, yeah. you know, yeah. it sounds so simple. Someone said to me, well, how can yeah. you be anything but yourself? Uh -huh. and, and I think it's not, to me, it's when we're not trying to prove anything to anyone. It's exactly. Just, this is who I am. And it's something it's that some, has to happen. Yeah. yeah for just, me, it yeah. comes out and it's... There's no I, mask. Oh, totally. And I dream about my art and I have certain phases when I'm, I'm in a new series and I'll dream about it and I'll wake and I'm, I'm very quick to capture those thoughts and write down notes and it's just incredible. It's such a whole new world for me now that I've opened it up. It's, I don't fit back in the box. 
you know, yeah. I've come out. You never want I, to be in that box. No way, but I, I wouldn't fit even if I tried. And yeah. because I can't go, it's a ratchet clause, I can't go backwards. Yeah. Um, I've now done this. I've now changed my entire identity. I've shocked a lot of people and yeah. shocked myself, So I when think. it comes to that identity, because, I mean, we all have our own identity, who, who we are. Mm. And for mm. a while there you were, mm. you know, in a long-term marriage and you were mm. big earning sales yeah. executive yeah. and now... Mm. you're a starving artist now you're a starving artist not quite starving <laughs> i mean you are pretty skinny no, but, yeah. um, but um, um no but you're an artist yes. and so just shifting that identity sometimes oh, it's yeah. hard to i know when i started um i was living in america mm. with four young kids when i started to decided i want to start a coaching business at yes. the time all my vision was was I want to be a coach. I want to work with people one on one. Mm. And I remember, like everyone knew me as the stay-at-home mother of four kids. Yes. And I, yeah. I knew I was had more than that. But, but that's how, do how I my show identity them? was in the community we lived in in Dallas, exactly. Texas. And and, um, and so for me to sort of try and forge this new identity, even yes. amongst the community of people we mixed in, yes. was hard. It is. You've I got to sort of throw it out there. I'm like they're thinking, who's she to do that? Exactly, exactly. Um, I, I've started, I started writing a book many years ago and one of the chapters is around your amphitheatre. So my theory is that we're born and, and we, we throw our little voice out very gingerly out and, and mum and dad will echo back and but then what might come back is look Kerry you're always late you know don't be late and and oh you, you, you're pretty enough but you're not you're no glamour and you know you, you'll get back <laughs> you'll get back these things and yeah. that's what defines us and in my periods of change what I've had to do is go back to my book and read my own work yeah. and say okay I actually need different people around me because I'm going to shock the hell out of everybody and yeah. they'll, they'll kind of go you're not an artist what are you doing yeah, no. so I need different people around yeah. me mentors I need people to challenge me I need people to scare the hell out of me yeah. I need to start again and be something new and I think yeah. it's so easy to have I mean people in your life that love you your mother yeah. but they can also sometimes cage us in oh totally like, this is who we see you are and totally. we don't see you being this over here totally and that can like oh but I'm not that over there and actually yeah, yeah you know we can be so much more than that that's right you and can't actually tell some people and that's what the chapter is about that you're if you're looking to change your identity or role or job or something you're actually best to keep it to yourself and the new little circle keep your loved ones out here at a safe distance from your plans because they may talk you out of it even subliminally yeah. one look from your mother yeah. Yeah. can make you stop yeah. so you have yeah. to actually build up your confidence and like I said before try on the new you a little bit do I sound like an artist? Do I look like one? I am one. Of course yeah. I am. So, you know, you have to actually role play a little bit with yourself, I think, yeah. to so get that I role when in I was confidence. writing my first book, I didn't tell anyone I was writing a book. My yes. husband knew, but I couldn't tell people because I was too afraid that they'd say, are you? Exactly. What would you write a book That's about? And I wasn't yet strong enough in yes. my own sense of... You know, because I still had too much who am I to be an author yes. to, to, to deal with there. Exactly. Who are you to be an author? Exactly. So I had to keep it to myself until I was literally nearly finished writing the new <laughs> book. Before I was like, I'm writing a book, I told exactly. people. And it was just because it was a new identity. I was yes. scared. I was of keeping course. it close. And yeah, yeah. I think that's that's mm. so true, you know, yeah. and we have to be careful who we tell. Totally. But also yeah. enlisting the support of people we know that will cheer us on. Too. Oh, definitely. And people you can grow and learn from. And I think you've got to be very careful not just to select the sugar givers. And, and with my art, it's hilarious. I'll ask my beautiful husband and he... <laughs> I like all of them, you know, yeah, it's like saying yeah, is yeah. my bum big in these jeans. Yeah, so yeah, I no. have to ask others and seek <laughs> and I use a lot of social media, which is fantastic yeah. because I then get a deeper understanding of who's tapping in yeah. to certain genres and, and of my art and certain yeah. series. And I think, oh, the pop artists in America really love that one. So that's interesting. interesting. So yeah. that's where I will market that piece. And, and I think yeah. also when you, you know, going down a new professional path as yeah. an artist, yeah immersing yourself in that world and those people yeah. because they they see things for you as possible that you know yeah. other people who are not part of that community not part of that world yeah. just it's not their world they don't get it exactly so they're constantly yeah. expanding your horizon for oh, you but if exactly. you thought of this and if you thought of that and yes oh, i know absolutely. that can be i often say to people if there's something you really want to do join a group of like-minded people oh, whether there's it's no doubt. professionally oh. whether it's whatever it is because oh, they yeah. 
really help to reaffirm oh, what you're Oh, they do, and, and you feel comfortable it. because you can actually be that person and just put it down and stop worrying. And on oh, my new art friends, I just adore them. Yeah. I love them so much. And, you know, even the people that work in the art shops, there's so much talent out there and they're behind a counter selling paint. And I'll ask them questions and I think, this is insane because I'm getting really, you know, very, very healthy prices for my work and it's really growing very quickly. And yet you're a fine art student that could run rings around me technically you understand everything so yeah. so clearly and I feel you know I sort of wish they had the confidence to go and do that and they're often asking me oh, how are you going you know how's your work going yeah. I saw your website and oh my god it's going really well and I think well oh, I feel for them I think yeah. you know but then that's their journey and they're, yeah. they're younger and yeah